Okay, here we go. This is one of the joys of being an actual uh, small business owner. <clears throat> or it's one of the, the headaches of being a, a broke small business owner. I'm on top of one of my roofs. And um, I got to do some work. What I have right here, you see, uh, right there. Uh, that's just a putty that, uh, that has came loose, broke loose the seal. And what happened, whenever it rains... So if I get the wind blowing and it's blowing up against the wall, it's gonna run down the wall and it'll, it'll run there and it'll leak into my building. So what you have to do, you have to come back and recalk this stuff. You know, if I had money, uh, like some of you all, unfortunately I'm broke, but if I had the money like you all had, I would pay somebody to come do it for me. Unfortunately, I'm broke, so I gotta do it myself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here, I'm going to take this up, and then I'm going to put some actual, uh, uh, what we call like black cat, there'll be something like that on top of it, that'll keep it from actually uh, doing it again, and it, it'll, it'll work, and it'll hold, and this is something you have to do with maintenance all the time, uh, even if you had a new roof, you'll have to still have to do maintenance on it. Uh, so I'm going to do that today. Today I'm fixing this one um, because we had a lot of rain this past weekend. And with all that rain, we had a bunch of, uh, I saw the leaks coming on the side from because the water was just blowing. So we're going to fix that. And uh, now I'll come back and I'll show you all how it's done. Okay, here we go. We, we're actually just going through patching it up right there. I had a little, it was a little bit, the, the seam, the gap was a little bit bigger. So I put some roofing tape on there and then put the, uh, put the, uh, the tar, the rubber cement over top of it. And it's pretty easy what you do. It's nothing really hard. You just gonna take a little, uh, masonry thrall, thrall or whatever you call it. Thrall. And you just get it. You just and just push it in right at the joints and like i say this right here it doesn't look the best but it holds <laughs> it will hold and it'll keep it from leaking the other stuff that they they had on here it you see how that that putty right there uh, just breaking out uh this this right here once it once it gets hard it's not gonna it's not gonna break it's not gonna back out of it you know, uh, once it get hard, it, it'd be like a rubber cement and it'll hold. So I'm gonna start off, I'm doing this side, just getting my, getting everything down pat. Uh, just learning how to use the, uh, the, the, the actual equipment, getting a good flow of it. And this side, I do this side last because that's actually on somebody else's building. And I want it to look nicer when I get to that side. So I'm gonna do that side right there last and uh, it's gonna be good gonna be good so I come back to you all once I'm done and you'll be able to see exactly exactly how it look but yep so that's what we're doing just going here patching the sides so water can't run through the sides anymore all right I'll talk to you later okay we're done what I've done I've gone and I put the the black tar uh, some people call it black cat or uh, just the sealant all across the uh the edge there and all in the seams where water could actually get in so i got it there and i've done this wall too um, also cleaned off the top what happened they they do construction bricks and stuff got on here so i fixed that look for any holes that might have came through there so the roof needs still needs to be done it'll cost me probably 20 30 to pull it off uh, but I, I, I'm gonna get a little bit more out of this uh, that's, that's all I really need to do to take care of that I saw the spots where they were, the water was coming at and this is the one that I've done uh, I, I've pretty much done over there I had somebody do that one but over here this is one where I've I done and had somebody kind of help me on it uh, believe it or not it's holding it's still holding pretty good but this is what you do if you're an entrepreneur and you own your own biz buildings if unless you got money to pay somebody uh i don't have the money yet to have a maintenance department 
uh, so uh, have contractors on call. So I'm, I'm the actual maintenance department. So I have to be the one who come in, do all the maintenance, uh, do all the repairs and stuff. And this is this is how I do it. Uh, I do all the maintenance and the repairs to my buildings, uh, keep them up and running. And like I say, uh, if you're an entrepreneur, this is stuff you're gonna have to do um, if you're gonna be unless you got the cash to pay somebody else. So we're gonna. I'm waiting now for it to rain again. We should get some rain in the next couple of uh, uh, within the next week or so. From there, I'll make sure everything is good. And uh, and this is it. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you want to know how to start your own appliance repair business, appliance repair is the only way I was able to pay for all this stuff you see I'm doing. Uh, go to appliancebootcamp.com. Uh, sign up. The link is in the description by the, one, by the appliance repair course. Let me teach you how to start your own appliance repair business. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.